Hello, my fellow miners. Welcome back. We are in part four of our skill tree rework. We are almost done. Unfortunately, this is the longest one to do, but stay with me. It'll be worth it. So step one in our grass continent skill tree, we are going to be upgrading this all mines generate node. And this will be a little bit different from the previous three. We are not going to be buying through all the way to the end because there's many branches in this one and it's just not cost effective uh, with how you're spending your skill points to do it that way. And I will explain that in a moment. So first things first, step one, we are going to unlock up to this one right here, the first large node, all mines generate more income. So working our way through one at a time, making sure I don't waste any skill points anywhere. I would hate to have a single skill point thrown on where I don't want it. All right. Did we click on it? I think we did. Yep, there it goes. A little delay. So once we have that, we are going to then focus on maxing that out before we move on. And the reason we want to do that is because it costs 68 skill points to unlock and then fully max out any one of these uh, individual nodes. And if we do this one, so that'll be an addition. We did 10 to unlock it and then another 58 to go to max. And when you go to max, you are going to have a percentage increase of 56 and a half. So it's another 36.5% from where we are right now. If you were to continue to go forward and buy through all of these to get to this one, you're spending 60 skill points and only getting 20%, as opposed to spending 58 and getting that 36.5%. So that's why we're doing this a little bit differently. So I will go ahead and upgrade this uh, all the way to max. And then move ahead to this one, upgrade it all the way max, and then move ahead to this one and upgrade it all the way to the max. And I will cut here and come back when I'm done. All right, everyone. Now that I'm finished with those three large nodes, all mines generate more income. That is the end of step one for your grass continent skill tree. That is the single best thing you can do for your game is getting those three unlocked and maxed out uh, in order. Like I said before, not, you know, don't buy through and then start maxing them out. Buy the first, max it out. Buy the second, max it out. And then buy the third and max it out. These improves, this improves all of your minds, not just your continent ones, but also the events and the mainlands. So it really makes a huge difference, especially in those events in mainland mines. Makes them so much easier getting all of those boosted by, what is the total of that? 150, 168, 69 and a half percent. That's insane. Best way to spend your first skill points on the green skill tree. Now, step two. Step two is really uh, dealer's choice. It's going to entirely depend on where you are in your game and what you're focusing on. When I started, uh, I focused on my ruby and sapphire mines simultaneously. So first thing I shot for were opening up these 100% uh, ones for the ruby and sapphire. And quick note on that. Those are actually double in skill point cost compared to everything else. So everything else up until this point, you know, you've unlocked it for 10, and then it starts at 1 for level 2, 2 for level 3, 3 for level 4, and so on and so forth. When you get to these last ones here, everything's doubled. So unlocking it right away costs 20. Going to level 2 costs 2 instead of 1. Going to level 3 costs 4 instead of 2. So everything's doubled. It gets really expensive really quick. 
So I would highly suggest you just unlock it for the 100% and then go back and work on these smaller ones. So you, you'll notice you have two uh, small rubies, one there and one there. And then you also have two small sapphires here and here. So I would suggest, you know, working on those next after you unlock the 100%. Uh, it's by far cheaper to do that. And a lot of times for the same level increases, you get more percentage for some reason. So focus on the little ones first. And then if you still have a crazy amount of skill points, go back and you can start upgrading those as you choose. Um, so that's what I did when I first started out. But now that my ice continent and my grass continent are, you know, I'm really pleased with where they're at and they're kind of just on autopilot, I'm going to be changing my focus. And right now my main focus is my fire continent. And the highest earning mine is obviously the obsidian mine. So we are going to go ahead and max that one out for me. Uh, I don't suggest you do this in yours right away unless that's what you're focusing on. And that's one thing that I wish uh, we could do instead of resetting the entire skill tree. I wish you could just reset, you know, one leg of it, like just the ice one, just the fire, just the dawn. You know, it would be a lot nicer not to have to redo the whole thing every time. Uh, but it is what it is. Maybe we can request that uh, as a new feature in the future. Um, but either way, I would highly recommend if you're you know, progressing through your game and you get to, like, say, where I am right now, where I'm okay with the current status of one of my continents and I want to move on to the next, by all means, go ahead, reset your skill tree, and reallocate those skill points to another area that's going to help you maximize what your focus is. So now that that's uh, Obsidian Mine is maxed out for me, I still have a lot of skill points left. And what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to continue on and open up the Dawn Continent leg here. Uh, that's a new area that was released uh, with the Dawn uh, Continent leg on the bottom. So that will be a big help for how I'm playing the Dawn Continent right now, getting all these boosted uh, just with that initial 40%. And then we shall see how much I can increase on this last one. So you'll see here, this one is the same as the, the Ruby and Sapphire 100% ones. Right away, it's 20 to unlock. And then we have two, and then four, and then 6, and then 10, 10, and we're only at level 5. And then we go up to 14 for level 6, 20 for level 7, I think it's all 20s from here on out. Another 20, another 20, and another 20. Ouch. See, that hurts. Uh, but luckily I had the skill points to do it. And I still have 180 left. So, what to do with those? Well, I didn't anticipate having that many left. So, I guess what I could do is I could probably buy my way to get these 100% back so that my production on my grass and ice continent isn't slowed down to a standstill. So that's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So yeah, I'll be able to do both of them. So let's get all these unlocked. This is working out a lot better than I thought, actually. I didn't think I would have this many left. So there's 20 for that one just to unlock it. And then working our way down here, or rather up here. Not down, it's up. Oh no, I did it. I got one on my jade mine. Shoot, that's going to annoy me. I was really trying to be careful and not do that. Oh well, 
that's going to have to stay there because I am not doing this all over again. So, still have 40 left. I guess I could hold on to them. But again, I think I'm just going to boost up my ruby and sapphires. So this will be, hopefully I can show you what I mean here now. So going to level 2, I'll get a 4% increase on this one. And this one gives me a 3.5% increase. So just by spending 2 skill points, I get a 7.5% increase on my ruby mine. And if I go over here and I spend 2 skill points, I only get a 6% increase. So that's why I said unlock these two and then go back and do the little ones. Because you spend the same amount of skill points and get more percentage out of it. So I think I'm just going to evenly go. I'm going to add one here and then one on Sapphire and then one on that Ruby and one on that Sapphire. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm out. Just so that I evenly upgrade these two continents together. So there's two, two... Two and two. And that puts me at 28. So these are now costing me three. So it'll be three, six, nine, twelve. I can still do that. Three, six, nine, twelve. So that puts me down to sixteen. And these are now each gonna be five. So I don't have 20. Can I buy four? I can probably buy four. 346 BA. And I'm in B 21 BB. Yeah, I should be able to buy four. That won't hurt too bad. Three and four. And I'm still almost at 19 BB. Perfect. So all of these will be at level five then. And that is going to complete our skill tree rework. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope even more that you got something out of that and that maybe you too can redo your skill tree and make your game even better. Thank you so much for watching and clicking. Have fun playing this game, everyone. I know I continue to have fun every day. I'm learning new things every day, and I just can't get enough of it. So until next time, everyone, keep mining.